Welcome to my YouTube channel again. This is Music, Math, and Me. Today, we will focus on math. So, we will continue the part 2 of the properties of parallelogram. So, we will proceed to the second property. And that is, opposite angles are congruent. So, in a, in a parallelogram, Opposite angles are congruent. That, mean, that means to say that uh, their measurements are equal. So here I have uh, two parallelograms. So parallelogram, the name of the parallelogram is CARE or C-A-R-E and parallelogram PURE, P-U-R-E. So here in our parallelogram, the opposite angles... R, angle C, and angle R. At the same time, the opposite angles are angle E and angle A. So, I have two pairs of opposite angles. So, I have their measurements. Angle E measures 3x plus 8 degrees. And angle A measures 4x minus 9 degrees. So, how do we solve for x? So, by applying the property, opposite angles are congruent, we can get the equation to solve for x. Our equation is 3x plus 8 equals 4x minus 9. So, this will be our equation. To solve for x here. So, how do we solve for x? Look for the x values. Eliminate the smaller one. So, that will be 3x. So, how do we eliminate 3x by its opposite sign? Negative 3x. So, subtract both sides by negative 3x. By subtraction property of equality. So, what you subtract from the right side should be subtracted from the left side. So, this is now 0. 0. So, this is now 8 equals 4x minus 3x is 1x or simply x. Then, bring down negative 9. So, how do, you, how do you eliminate negative 9? Because we just need x. So, by opposite sign of negative 9, you will add positive 9 to make it 0. Add both sides positive 9 by addition property of equality. So, this is now 0. So, this is x equals 8 plus 9 is 17. So, our value for x is 17. So, we're done with the first uh, example. So, this is now 17. So, let's proceed to the second parallelogram. The second parallelogram is pure. So, again, we will apply the property opposite angles are congruent. So, here, P, the opposite of angle P is angle R. And the opposite of angle E is angle U. So, how do we make equations? So, 2x plus y here is equal to your 100 here. So, 2x plus y is equal to 100 because they, they are opposite angles. And the second one, you have x plus 2y equals 80 to its opposite angle. So, you have x plus 2y equals 80. So, we have now two equations. So, if you're going to solve using two equations, we will use elimination or substitution. So, how do we use elimination here? Because we can easily use elimination. Uh, you can eliminate x or y. So, here I can eliminate x. So, we have here 2. 
How do you eliminate 2? By negative 2. So we need here negative 2. So we will multiply negative 2 to the second equation. So this is equation 1, equation 2. Okay, for the second equation, we will multiply negative 2. So it becomes negative 2x minus 4y equals negative 160. Multiply everything by negative 2, by distributive property. Okay, so you have equation 3. So what you will do is use equation 1 and equation 3 for elimination because they have uh, opposite sides. You can get uh, 0 by elimination. So this is now copy 2x plus y equals 100. And for the equation 3, you have negative 2x minus 4y equals negative 160. Okay, let's add. Since opposite sign, this is now 0. And positive y minus 4y, this is negative 3y. Again, opposite sign, subtract. So this is 100 plus negative 160, this is negative 60. Different signs, subtract, copy the sign of the higher absolute value. So this is now divided by negative 3. So your y is positive 20. So how, you, how do you get x? So, we're done with y. So, this is positive 20. What is the value for x? So, so, we will substitute in your equation 1 because it can easily be used. But you can also use equation 2 using substitution. Substitute uh, y which is 20. So, you have 2x plus... 20 equals 100. Then eliminate 20 by its opposite sign. So minus 20. So this becomes 2x. This is now 0 equals 80. Then divide both sides by 2 by division property of equality. So what is now your x? 80 divided by 2 is 40. So your x here is 40. So that's how we solve for the variable x and y or simply the variable x. If you have one, you need to solve only one. So here you can use uh, opposite angles or congruent to solve for the value of the variable x and the variable y. Okay, that's all. I hope you learned something new for this second property of parallelogram. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe in this channel. Again, this is Music, Math, and Me. Bye! Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.